You're watching Cooking 1.5, and today we're talking about three key secrets to the best mashed potatoes you've ever eaten. So stay tuned. Secret number one, you gotta control your moisture. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cook your potatoes until the exact moment they're done. Any overcooking, they're gonna soften up, they're gonna absorb a lot of water, and you're gonna end up with watery potatoes. Now when you strain your potatoes, what you wanna do is you wanna let them steam off a little while. Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking that's the heat escaping, but you see that steam, that's got moisture. So as they cool just a little bit, I mean we ain't gonna let them get cold, but as they cool just a little bit, we're gonna get some of that moisture out of there. We're just gonna let them steam off. It's going to help reduce the amount of water that ends up in your mashed potatoes. Secret number two, let's talk about milk. Now a lot of people use skim milk, they use the 2% milk. It's too watery and it doesn't have as much flavor. You want to go whole milk. But here's the real secret. I don't use milk. I use heavy whipping cream. Name brand heavy whipping cream. They're going to make those potatoes a lot thicker, a lot whippier, and that's the kind of consistency you're looking for in your potatoes. Secret number three, we're talking about flavoring. Now, we're not making garlic mashed potatoes. You could make garlic mashed potatoes. You could make potatoes with any kind of flavoring you want. But I'm talking about a traditional mashed potato. Maybe you're going to have it on Thanksgiving with some gravy. So you're not wanting to put a bunch of wild flavors in there. We just want to enhance the flavorability a little bit. So we're going to add a little garlic. Not garlic powder. Not minced garlic. We're going to take a garlic paste. It's got kind of a mild flavor. We're going to put just a little bit in there. The goal is not to create garlic mashed potatoes. We ain't making garlic mashed potatoes here. We just want to add a little hint of taste. So when someone's eating it, they may not even realize the garlic's in there. They're, they just, they know there's something in there, but they can't quite tell what it is. Another thing about flavor is you gotta use fresh ground peppercorn, and you gotta use a good sea salt or a kosher salt, Himalayan pink salt. Don't use cheap table salt, and especially, do not use pepper in a can. You're gonna wanna have fresh peppercorn, and actually what you're gonna want is multicolored peppercorn. The multicolored peppercorn is going to give a lot of different flavors. People ain't going to know what you've done. They're just going to know it's good. And last on my flavor list, we're going to add a little butter. What I've done here is I've let this butter soften up. I'm using name brand butter. Don't get any of the generic stuff.
Okay, so what you're going to want to do here, my brother's got these done. Kind of give it a taste, see if you need any more salt or pepper. It just tastes pretty good. And you want to kind of, you want to test the thickness of it. You know, kind of see how thick it is. Those are some thick and hearty potatoes right there. Those are some thick and hearty potatoes right there.